name is Mike Poole. For 31 years I was a graphic designer. I did a lot of trips for different brands, doing shoots around the world. It's good fun. Seven years ago, Mike's globetrotting career came to a halt, literally overnight. We had gone to a party on the Friday night. I woke up on the Saturday morning, just went to get out of bed and I couldn't stop myself falling. And I landed on the floor and my wife said, what's going on, what are you doing down there? I said, I can't move, can't feel my legs. And that was it. An hour later, I was in the UCH, being told I had a work-sided stroke. Mike is one of 1.3 million stroke survivors in the UK. And like him, the majority left hospital with a disability. He can't feel his left arm, hand or leg. It's going OK. I mean, I'm not quite sure where it's going yet. Since his stroke, he's taken up painting, regularly visiting Headway, a day centre for people affected by brain injury in East London. I'm trying to sort of rescue an old painting. Uh -huh. Very blue, I see. It's very blue. Go through my blue period, yeah. If I could get my left arm to work again, that'd be fantastic. Even if I could just use my arm to hold down something while I'm maybe from chopping vegetables or something, if I could cook again, that'd be a great help. Through the charity, he's been trying out and on a new piece of kit, which aims to restore movement to his left hand. I'm willing to give anything a go which should help return some normality to my life. The extensor is um, the muscle that is running all the way up here. He's participating in research by Nitrogen, a medical tech firm housed in the Royal College of Arts Accelerator. Alongside neuroscientists, it's developing smart assistive clothing that so far apparently has seen a 30 to 50% boost in recovered function. And the secret is in the sleeve. This device here directs a force to a specific muscle in the wearer's arm so that over time it can retrain the brain so that eventually a wearer can regain control of their limb. It's to be worn for several hours per day. As current data suggests, the longer the garment keeps tapping away, the greater the results. Can you feel anything? Can't feel anything. No sensation. I do feel a slight sort of pulsing, but, um, but no real response in my hand yet. The gains aren't necessarily seen immediately, and that's really important to note. So what we're doing is we're pairing a companion app with the, the technology so you can see what's happening um, to try and make it as transparent as possible because if you don't see any gains to begin with you might give up. A huge problem with medical devices for rehabilitation is getting people to want to use them and in the case of wearables like the thing they'll put on time after time. This could be a t-shirt, this could be a, an everyday shirt, this could be just something that you wear that people don't go hey what's that? Why are you wearing that? What's it for? Because what that ends up doing is it brings back this trauma, the experience, the story behind their stroke or their brain injury, which they have to then relive and tell again and again. So just, it will literally just do that all the time. The garment is also designed to be worn along with headphones, which would deliver a click sound that would help trigger a physical reaction. If you deliver a tap, and then a startling sound second, you can activate muscle activity. If you reverse the order and you deliver a sound and then a tap, you can suppress muscle activity. Some people say, well, this is part of my life experience, you know, and this is who I am now. Absolutely fine, but we want people to have a choice. It's very early days. The system is currently being only lab tested. And whilst participants are showing a muscle response, it could be some time before they see any life-changing results. Mm -hmm.